get this day started. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, you're like, hey, let's take a, let's take a look at that headband, man. You noticed I've been decorating in the garage a little bit. I wonder why. I wonder, yeah, do you, you have know, something going on? I, I, yeah, I don't know. Hanging on the wall, you Maybe, said? yeah, there's just some, some things going on. I still need to hang these wings up. I got my nice Advan banner, hung up a couple of those. This little yeah. beauty right here. Got some you things, my, stupid hat, my Texas hat, tech hat, my big Tex hat. We're on our way right now. We're gonna drop this off for what? It's called a performance optimization service. It's a thing you have to do every year for the GTR. The first three are covered, so yeah, um, <laughs> whatever. It's got a iOS no cheetah going on it. <laughs> but we're gonna go pick up Marco's CTSV. The, the caddy whack. Yeah, the caddy whack, wacky shack. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, we brought you some hot and spicy pork rinds. Oh. So you can just enjoy those with you. What are you, a magician? Yeah. How the fuck? How did he not curb his wheels? Don't don't expect it returned this closely parked to the curb. Jesus. What color is this? Thunder gray. Thunder gray. It's got like a little blue green in it, doesn't it? Yeah. Eyebox springs. OEM plus wheels. That's the intake. Intake. Ready. So pat mufflers. Okay. Boonch mod. mod. Cut the mufflers. <laughs> 2011. Look at all that chrome. <laughs> well, this is an old person car. It is an old person car, but it's got a lot of smiles per gallon. I've never, I've never driven a CTSV before. You never driven a CTSV? Well, you're mm -hmm. in for a treat. I am. You're in for a comfortable, they're comfortable treat. <laughs> I don't know why he said he's, he used to say he's, really he's fast. He's playing it down. And then, and then he, he's touching to the GTI. Now he doesn't make it fast. But I think this thing's so. Uh, ooh. 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 Oh, you do have squash. Repping the, rep the BCL. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. You seen these? GoPro Hot Wheels? Snap a GoPro into it. Right down the Hot Wheels track. Uh -oh. It's pretty pin. <laughs> Strike one. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. That's cool. That is cool. That's cool. Guess what he's got? That's pretty, that's pretty integral right there. He's, he's official. I think every time we review someone's car, you get one, get one of these things. First impressions are very good because it smells like squash, which makes me feel CX, like I'm, I'm in some CX Japanese. CX-9 or whatever. Yeah. CX-9000 or whatever. Yes. Did it have paddles? Or? It had buttons. Buttons. Okay. You so, know, um, this thing has that cool mag ride. Mag ride. So you have this button right here, and it goes huh? from... Magnet? Oh, give me on a touring mode. To sport. I'm in sport now. You only have two modes. Oh. Yeah. But this guy's mag ride. It's just kind of cool. I see we have a boost gauge down here, which yeah, is cool. It's pretty much only on or off. AC is very nice. He did, he did a cool seat. Hold this on. Pretty pimp. Hold on. Oh, are you going through you shit? You don't know pimp yet. Oh, shit. You don't know hot. pimp yet. This? You like this? Yeah. Whoa! What is this, uh, like, from a, a ladies saloon? Like, I guess it shows a little uh, dancer behind there or something? What's I, going it, on up there? Well, it's it's a sunroof. But... Wow. But what about, it's a sunshade. It is a sunshade. The, I mean, the sunshade is controlled. Oh, that's, that's a shade button there. Oh, yeah. Give, kick back the shade. Kick back the shade. Drop some light on my eyes, baby. It's pimp. That is pimp. This thing's pimp. It's really nice. Get one of these. Get the wagon, shade. though. The wagon's cool. I don't want the wagon. Maybe I do want the wagon. Don't you want to be, don't you want to be the gods of the forums? Everyone, uh, yeah. everyone that has the wagon is yeah. like, oh my god, you wagon you're god on the forums. On a forum. You got on the forums. It feels like, so I don't know if this is the mag ride thing or just how this car feels, but it feels like, oh, you know what it is? It's probably the, uh, the steering. It's probably has like electric steering or something. There's no weight to the steering wheel. Like the car moves around like kind of nice without feeling like you're putting in much effort. Excuse me, it's our turn. Oh, it's fast though. It, it, has, oh. it has a punch to it. Yeah. It'd be better without that traction control button, but it's punchy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hard shift. Oh, she goes, baby. Oh. I've never ridden on a like a prize-winning stallion before. Because you own a Corolla. Because I own a Corolla. And but that has nothing to do with my horse history. <laughs> Fuck you. I can't bring that in there. No, you're the listen, one that listen, goes, listen, hey, listen, George, listen, check listen, out this listen, video listen. of this Corolla that did 140 wheel horsepower. You're all holding me like Video you're proof, 140 wheel. You're all wheels. proud of it, like holding up a, a, like a photo that's of what right. like you just drew with, with cat spelled with a K. I'm that's like, right. that's cute, darling. <laughs> I just gotta tussle your hair a bit. Well, as I was saying, <laughs> it rides like a Clydesdale, doesn't it? It's a real like, champion like, steed. Like, like Budweiser, this is an American muscle right this here. This is American muscle. This right. is like uh, Larry the Cable Guy on steroids. Like, America. Yeah. It's got some fuck yeah to it. But it's so refined in this movie. It is. It's nice. It has an analog 
analog clock. Like, you know you're on a baller car when you have analog clock. Analog clock. Wow. You know what's fun is, is reviewing cars. Is recording? Yeah. Five. It's not, bro. Oh my god. What are you talking about? It's not moving up. GoPro, start recording. GoPro, start recording. You walked. You just, I was just frozen in time. You. But he just took off. Took he off. just, he buried you underground at, at a luau and put an apple in your mouth and smoked you. Pretty much. Wow. It does everything better than I expected it to. I expected like a nice car, but it's... Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I, the only fuck up I think Cadillac had with this is that these weird buttons on the back. They work fine, but paddles are so yeah, much cooler. Yeah, like, it's more surface area. Uh, <laughs> surface area. Uh, but they work fine. It's not like that bad. Give me the stereotype or your target demographic for a CTSP. Um, let's start with gender. I'll go with male. Um, that was tough. I'm just by myself time. <laughs> Age, I'll say you're in your 50s. Um, you probably had a Camaro in high school oh. that, you know, you had a blower on it and it's got a 454 swap and that and that. Uh, I think that that guy, he's got his own chair. You know, like, oh, that's... That's his only... That's yeah, so -so's lazy That's boy. a raised chair. Yeah, like, don't raised. sit in raised chair. He has some paintings on the wall in his man cave of, uh, like, some olives hanging out inside of a martini. Like, chilling, wow. you know what I mean? A couple flame shirts. Oh, yeah. I think Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama. That's, I think, a CTSV guy. Okay. That's what I'm gonna say. I think it's two opposites. You have... The, the new owner, yes, has all that, but I see like the used market you have. Okay, used market. Like the bros. The bros? The bros. Really? With their flat bill hats. Making I can kiss my <laughs> That's Seal. <laughs> You're right, good point. <laughs> With that make, that is mod these things all high hell make Oh, okay, so the, the modern day hot rodders. The 1320 guys. 1320. <laughs> We need to get in our little music collection because I just go to like some free website when I need musical stuff and all the music stuff. But we need some good um, like African cats running on a savanna music like 1320 video has. That way people know it's real serious. Time to release it. Hold on now, let me figure this out for myself. I want everyone online to be proud of me. Okay, all right. Here's got LED kit, LED kit. How do I turn this car off? Hold on, yeah. hold on. Okay. No, it does not. This just looks like a key. Yeah. Like oh, that number? So you had that like plastic nub? Yeah, it did have the nub. So that's it. All right. Well, okay, you got the key, right? I got the key. All right. That looks good. Feels good. Parked as freaky deaky. What do you think's in this thing? Uh, I don't want to know. Let's check. You think it's empty? I think it's, it's probably has remnants in there. But remnants or, or like crust? Like crust of a bread? Yeah, like crust of a bread. Okay. I would bet it has nothing in it. Yes, sir. Bet you lunch on it. All right. Oh, look at the bottom. Whoa. Oh, that's like crust. That's yeah, black. whoa, they were that black. Shit. They were black. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Hands off. Hands off. Hey, hands off. Hands off. Hands off. Stop. Okay, GoPro. Oh, yeah, it's, look, it's recording, but stuck at five. five. GoPro, stop recording. Hey, shout out to that dickhead Nick from GoPros on Shark Tank sometimes. Your camera sucks. I don't watch Shark Tank. Yeah, well, good. You're not missing out on that stupid idiot. So here's what I was thinking. If we're taking this car to lunch today, because, you know, Cool Guy Club, we don't go out to a canyon. We're not Matt Farrow. We don't no. We don't put it through the paces. We just kind of tootle lunch. around. We get back talk. to work. Yeah, we got to go to work. We tootle around and we talk shit. It's what we do. Yeah. So for this car, what is it like a, what American meal would you get in a supercharged catalog? Just like... This this car is Viagra pills. This is Grandpa with a well, boater. I, I think it? well, so it's American Muscle. There it is. It's challenging against the German cars. It's a, it's a comparison like the C and E class. Oh, okay. So it's classic. By the way, fuck that. Fuck that Subaru. I would maybe go with Wiener Sichel because it's American hot dogs, but it's German Venas. Oh, okay. We should go to Wiener Schnitzel then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, give that thing a start. Give it a start. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Come on, man. <laughs> this is 
what the best that GM had to offer in 2008, and guess what? It's been corrupted by squash air filters. I think it's it smells great. I love like, it. I would say corrupted. It's a good filter. kind of corrupted. Yeah. I think Jeez, it. George, what am I past today? <laughs> Your diary <laughs> jackpot. <laughs> and then we got this cool digital uh, alarm clock gear indicator. And then our favorite part. I would hate to be the guy that works at Eibach that has to deal with that that guy who knows nothing about cars but he's like I'm gonna lower my car and then he he calls it's like you know it's making a nondescript squeak sound from the front and sometimes it scratches on the bottom this wasn't part of the deal Caddyshack! Caddyshack! She drives like a bistro, but handles like, <laughs> handles a, like a steakhouse. A steakhouse. She's, built, she's built like a beast, like a steakhouse, handles like a bistro. She she's she's like built, not wrong. Built like a steakhouse, it handles it, like a bistro. It does handle like a bistro. Oh, there you go. Yeah, because the mag ride. Yeah, the mag ride like a bistro. You know, the, the bummer about superchargers is you almost don't know they're there. Like, well, power-wise, you feel it. Well, someone make that really cool. Whee! Yeah. Yeah, is this one wine? I don't know. Oh, that guy in the RX thinks I'm going to talk to him. Yeah, the, the, all the, uh, We're all down later. But yeah, he. this definitely... There's so many mods with this car. He can make this thing stupid fast. I can start in third gear. Well, I don't know. When you take off, it'll like, let you... Yeah. Look at that. stays. Then go down to one. I don't know what to say about this that. This thing has a five-speed. This has a five-speed? <laughs> I believe so. Yeah, take it out. Come on. I think it's five. You're funny. No. Five-speed? I'm pretty sure. What happened to the other one? I don't know. Or two. This is 2011 yeah, before no. they invented six-speed transmissions. Wow. Is that sound, is it giving a little bit of tire spin? I think so. It's one of those traction controls, huh? That's got a six-speed. Is it a six? Oh, man. The six? Cadillac guys, jump down his throat. Yeah, sorry. Teach yeah. him what it means to be wrong yeah. on the internet I, when you yeah. know more information than him. I, it's, you know the problem? Every time we drive something, I go, oh, I want one of these. Yeah, you do. I'm not going to close this because I'm getting my face. I'm just going to... That was your highlight right there. Why do we bother doing your makeup if we're not going to let the sun shine down on you? Why do we have makeup people? You Jesus, mean... You just waste money. <laughs> You're attracting Camaro people already. Let me in. Everyone at Wienerschnitzel thinks we want to race them. Like, they think we're going to be friends. Do, does uh, Let's com just be friends. Let's just be friends. Camaro guys see CTSV guys as a father figure. Probably. All these buttons are real low. I like, like it. Old. It's different. Crotchety old men with their arthritis. This yeah. Yeah, is good for arthritis. You know what it is? The CTSV is eating a hot dog with a fork and a knife. It's kind of fancy, but you know it's really not fancy. You know what I'm saying? How's it not fancy? It's not fancy because it's like. It's like you, you know when you see a, a, a bodybuilder wearing a suit, or like John Cena wearing a suit, you're like, this you doesn't... him. Oh yeah, okay, here's a bad example. But like, you know, it's like some guy's really buff and he's in a suit and you're just like, you don't really look fancy, but I know you're fancy right now. It's like yeah. down under there, you get some muscle power with the suit. Yeah, real powerful, yeah, it's like a, uh -huh. yeah, bodybuilder like suit. Okay. So is there anything else we need to talk about on this thing? No. I mean, I, we I took it to get hot dogs. What more do you want in a yeah. freaking review? review? I'm looking forward to the mods that are going to happen with this thing. Yeah, you know it would be cool to, to revisit again when it makes 600. V, baby. It's actually for Vendetta. Nice try, dickhead. <laughs> Support mode? Yep, we got our air, our, uh, our magnet suspension going. If you drop a tool under this car, does it stick to the shock tube? I don't think so, but that's a good question. It's not a strong enough suspension then in my yeah. book. If I were Marco, I would make this car annoyingly loud. Oh yeah. Like I'll... it's not, it doesn't, um, it's it's not annoying enough. Maybe that's just me because I like annoying cars in general that, you know, don't have air conditioning and all that jazz. But I feel like this car could be a lot more annoying. Yeah, I think with the x pipe, Dude, who's the suspension thing it is? It's shifting for me. Okay, now I'm a manual. This is the boss of me? I like when I see the ones that have like the fatty, like giant big tire CTSVs. 
Those are freaking cool. A little rake to it? Yeah, a little bit of rakey dakey. Maybe a drag wing on the back, <laughs> for sure. Throwing laundry. Throwing that's, laundry. That's what I'm about. Or comfortably? Yeah, you could fit. Oh, tree frog is what it is, the, the squash tree frog. What? Is, that, is it bootleg? Is that yeah. the official CX-9? Oh, it's, it's oh. bootleg. It's not that bootleg. bootleg. No. Marco! No, no, yeah, you know those small ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you bootleg. remember the first time you ran into those air fresheners? Because I do. I do. Yeah. No? I do. Yeah. You do? Can you tell me about it? Um, There's a Asian Garden Mall uh -huh. in Little Saigon, of course. <laughs> And there's a st store there, I think it's still there, uh -huh. that sells like bootleg DVDs, uh -huh. bootleg CDs, yep. and squash air filters. Squash air filters. And yeah. I remember taking it and smelling it. Whoa, that's yeah. starting in second gear. See, you attracted another Camaro. See, I oh, see, these Camaros are coming out everywhere when they see this thing. We're not! Uh, we're not friends! It's not ours! Let's just be friends! Let's just be friends! I remember, like, ooh, squash, and. Now I know in real life, squashes don't smell like that. The no, no, they the don't. vegetable. Not even a little bit. Yeah. I was at Super Auto Box when Super Auto Box came to the States. Hey, that's where we both worked. You Marco. both worked? I didn't we know you worked there. What did he do there? Tires and wheels. Tires and wheels. Is he like a tire mountain maven? Like he mounts tires like nobody's No, no, he, he, he sold them? Sold them. So he worked by that giant rack that had like the TEs on the fourth yeah, row where I couldn't exactly. touch him. No nice. touch. Well, I remember walking in and it was just like this, this, uh, Fairy tale Disneyland of all these JDM things. I didn't know what they were, and so I walked to the air freshener aisle, and it just socks you in the face like Mike Tyson of fragrance, and you're just like, what the fuck are all these smells? And they're all like sandalwood and squash and deep squash and platinum squash, all these different squashes coupled with words modifiers that don't make sense. But what I remember thinking was like, dude, what the f do these things do? Like I looked at the air filters, I'm like, what does this thing do? Like, how do I use it? How do I use it? Because it looks like it looks like an electronics thing, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, it looks like you could do stuff with it, but no, it's just it just smells. <laughs> That's it smells it. good. It does smell good. I liked it. But yeah, they have like the kind with the little beads in them. Yeah. In the glass jar, and then they have the one the jelly one, the, the jelly ones. Yeah, where you peel back certain amounts of it, and then the ones that look really futuristic and electronic, they don't do anything different. They just look that way. Yeah, so, air filters, man. TTSVs are cool cars. If you want to go real fast and you want to be pretty comfortable, why not? Why not? Why not? And they handle pretty decently, too. Oh, yeah. Especially on these magnets. Would a Juggalo drive a CTSV, you think? No. Like a refined Juggalo? Is A CTSV is like a Juggalo with a college degree. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's effective, but, uh, you know, kind of rough around the edges. Have you met a Juggalo? Well, no. About making assumptions. <laughs> but, I mean, who wears clown makeup? It's hilarious. Great. Gotta love that. Man, I just feel like I had a great experience in this car. Mm -hmm. I sat in it. I enjoyed the supercharged V8. And then, where do I, I land but next to this stupid piece of junk WRX again. It just kills my mood. Every, I'm not even going to back the car in. I'm just, just killed my mood. I want to go downstairs. Yeah, it's haunting you. Finish my day. It is haunting me. It's not fair. Can you read this text message you just got? Just read it from the beginning. This is, okay. This is from Carl, my service rep. At, at, at the Nissan dealership yeah. with the GTR you just dropped Your vehicle off. is completed. However, the keys lock themselves in your car in the wash rack. Do you have the initial key to unlock the vehicle? Can you bring it down? Sorry, Carl. Hey, Carl, I got a question for you, man. You said the keys lock themselves in the car. Did they get upset? Did you yell at the keys? Or you tell me you're going to ground them and they said, ah, you're not my real dad. And they locked themselves in the car and said they're not coming out. The feature for that you, you leave the keys in the car, it won't lock. Let's Google that and see, and maybe we can enlighten Carl. It's the freaking Nissan dealership. 